Ant-Man, SGA, Luka Doncic. Who's the better player? Reason why we're making this video is because um, I was checking out ESPN on YouTube, looking for stuff to talk about, and I came across this video from Stephen A. Smith, who had a three-minute interview uh, with Ant-Man, walking to the game, I believe. And uh, Stephen A. brought up an older LeBron interview in which he was asked, who will carry the torch once he's retired? And those players that LeBron named were uh, Anthony Edwards and SGA. So let's hear how Ant felt about that, and then we're going to come back and react to it. But before I play the clip, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. LeBron James was on the record saying that when you look to the future, the guys that are ready to take the match are the kind of young bloods that we're going to look at. He brought up your name. He brought up Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Your thoughts about that? I think that's dope because um, I think you're exactly right. Me and Shea and Luca for sure. Right. Yeah, you, wanted, you said you, Shea, and who? Luca. All right. Yeah. How do you feel you guys, how do you feel you specifically measure up against those two? Uh, I feel like I'm a better player, 100%. All right, so let's talk about it. First off, no matter how you feel about what Anthony Edwards had to say, you got to understand that you're supposed to feel that way. Like, I feel like um, Ant-Man is good enough of a basketball player to justify thinking that, yeah, I'm him. Like, um, he's number one in the West. He's putting up great numbers, only 20, uh, 22, has a lot of 30-point games. Like, I, I get it. I get it. He was also a leader on Team USA. I really get it. Plus, if you're going to be that great, you need some kind of delusional confidence in some, in some type of way. To, you really need to believe in yourself or you're not reaching those heights that those guys can reach right so um, i understand and with that being said uh i disagree um let's start let's start with what actually he had to say and added luca to the list which i'm not mad at at all and if i were to kind of close out the top five or to add other names who will probably be up there when it comes to carrying the torch once the run is gone uh i'm thinking of jason tatum because I think LeBron James probably has like three, four years, right? So Jason Tatum will still be fairly young. Ja Morant and uh, Wembenyama in three, four years, I believe he's going to be, he's already a problem now. But in three, four years, he might already be like him for real, you know? So yeah, th these would be the guys that we are going to look at. But just for the sake of that video, since Ant-Man said Ant, SJ, and Luca, let's talk about them. Who's better now? And in your opinion, who will be the best in three, four years, right? So all three are having great seasons. We all know that. They were all all-stars in the West. And Luca and SGA were starters. Ant and Chai are at the top of their conference, tied in the last column. So right now, Minnesota has 0.5 games above the Thunder, but the Thunder has one game uh, that they that they have yet to play to match the, the total amount of games. And they're playing tonight against the Rockets, so I expect SGA and the Thunder to capture that. So they're going to be tied by the time you hear that video, probably. Uh, Luca is six at the conference. That's not great, but that's definitely better than last year. And the team is just not as amazing. He's been injured a bit. Kyrie also, so six is okay. He's still better than teams like the Lakers and the Warriors, for example. So you take that, right? If you look at their individual numbers, and he's averaging 26.3 points, 5.3 assists, 5.2 rebounds on 47, 38, 84% splits with one steal and a half of a block per game. So very solid numbers, great numbers, actually. So it was justified to be in an all-star game. And he's only 22 years old. So let's not forget that. SGA, which is the oldest of the three, it's kind of crazy. It felt like Luca has already been there for a while, but no, SGA is actually one year older than Luca. And he's averaging 31.1 points, 5.5 assists, 6.6 .6 rebounds. So um, amazing numbers. And the efficiency is through the roof, uh, averaging uh, those numbers on 55, 37, 88 percent split with two steals, which is up there amongst the, the league leaders and almost one block per game. So amazing season by SGA, right? And Luca to finish. I mean, I don't even know what to say when I look at these numbers, man, especially the fact that he's only 24 years old putting numbers like this. Like, that's crazy. 34 points, 9.6 assists, 8.8. So if we round that up, that's 34, 10, and 9. <laughs> you know, like, that's insane. Um, and the efficiency is, is good, too. 49, 38, 78% from the field with 1.5 steals and 0.6 blocks. So if you look at today, in my opinion, Ant is the worst of the three, with all due respect. Luca would be the better player, SGA number two and three. I believe that Luca and SGA right now, they are like A-tier players, and Ant-Man is like a 
I mean, nah, he's also an A player, but Luca and Ejia A plus. Yeah, I think that's better. Luca A plus, Ejia A plus, and he's A tier player. Right now, Luca, like it feels like at this point we're taking him for granted almost. Like 34, 10, and 9 at 24 is just insane. He has by far of the three the best IQ on the court. He's the best tough shot maker. He's the best passer by mile. He's also the best rebounder, although he's the least athletic of the three. So that means that he's really able to understand tragic stories, boxing out, and everything. So, he's, so we have better rebounder of the three. And he is the system for his squad. So when he's not there, the Dallas Mavericks are a whole different team, whole different team. And he also has, at this point, he's also the one with the most playoff success because he was able two years ago to make the conference finals, you know. So I have Luca easily the best player out of the three right now. Number two, I would have SGA, which is, which the man has clearly perfected his ability to get to the basket. He feels like the game is so simple to him. You can't really, you can't rush him. You can't slow him down. He either will get you off balance because he has a very underrated handle and he's athletic enough to finish over you. And if he's not finishing at the rim, it's a foul every time. He's going to the line and he's going to make 88% of the free throws. So he also understand that Although 37% from three, if you look at that, you'll be like, oh, yeah, that's solid. But he's only getting up three threes per game because he understands that as a bottom three-point shooter, he's probably not up there yet. And I believe that at some point in his career, he's going to perfect that. But right now, he's cutting down the threes. That's only three a game. If not, I'm attacking every time I'm getting to that mid-range, to the elbow, and I'm making those little middies. That's money every time. So as a result of him really perfecting his craft like that, He's super efficient. He's one of the most efficient players uh, right now. And from the guard position to put up that many points on such efficiency is historic, clearly. So SGA, I got him number two. He's also a very solid defender. So yeah, number two, not that far from Luca. I just believe that Luca, yeah. Yeah, Luka. yeah, just Luca. That's all I got to say. And number three right now, no disrespect, but I got Ant-Man. Uh, he's extremely impressive for being only 22 years old. But again, I don't think he's quite up there yet with the other two. Uh, I know the Wolves are number one. Um, and he's already a great leader for for them. He's been acknowledged even by Cat as the best player. So you got to give him a lot of credit for carrying his team to the number one spot. However, if you look at the Wolves, they have by far the best defense in the West. But they have a top... They have a bottom offense or average offense in the West. If you look at the points that they that they score as a team per game, they are right there with the Rockets. But when it comes to points allowed, they are up there, they're number one by far. So this is why they're winning games. They're not really winning games with offensive prowess. It's from the defensive side. And when you look at the defense, who is impacting the defense the most on the Timberwolves, it's not Anthony Edwards. That would be Rudy Gobert, or from the guard position, that would be Jaden McDaniels, although Anthony Edwards is also a very solid defender. So for that, I'm not taking anything away for Ant-Man as a player, because he's great, but I don't think he's as impactful for his team uh, compared to Shea and Luka, on which when th those two guys play well, they win. If they don't, they lose. It's just that simple. I've seen several games this season with Ant having off shooting nights and the Timberwolves were still able to pull off the W just because of the defense being that great, you know. But let's talk about the positive about Ant Man though. Um Draymond said something on the Club 520 podcast that stuck with me and he said that he looks at the Timberwolves now and what's really impressive is that since Anthony Edwards and Thanks to the confidence that he's instilled in those guys. He has a bunch of guys playing and acting like winners, although they have been losing a lot before him. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's kind of true. Like, I'm looking like guys like Cat and everything. Like, he's, he's exuding some kind of confidence that I've never seen from him unless he was faking in the pressers or whatever, you know? And that's all Ant-Man. That's Ant-Man carrying that energy. Sometimes he'll be in a press conference. He's 22. He, he has the vets with him. Tough questions. He'll take it and be like, yeah, that's me. You know, and this is, this is, this is an amazing skill set to have that you can't really measure when it comes to stat. But Ant-Man has that. And I believe more than Shea and more than Luca. He's just that guy when it comes to that. KD also called him an amazing team starter and culture setter. So that's a testament to his leadership and maturity because, again, he's only 22, right? He arguably has the highest ceiling of the three 
if you if you if you look at his freakish athleticism unshakable confidence and youth right he's also the most versatile defender of the two of the three because uh he's athletic enough to put it to guard a three and fast enough to keep up with a one although i, I wouldn't i mean in the best of worlds i don't want him guarding threes like that but i recall at the end of the game uh that was early this season they were playing the celtics it was ot and he took the defensive uh, the, the the defensive uh um segment to guard jason tatum and he locked that shit up in OT, and then when he got the bucket on the other end and got his team to the, the, the win, Shea can do that. He might be able to do that on the on the one, but that's it. And Luca can definitely not do that. So if he does more of that in the future, and you look at how good he is offensively, also he may end up being better than those two, uh, um, three four years from now. But right now, I have in number three. Right now, though. Uh, I also think that he's the most likely to experience some team success and win a championship. Uh, if I were to bet on who would win a ring first out of the three, I would say Anthony Edwards just because his squad is better now. It feels like his team makes more sense. And even if you look at historically, if you have a, a hybrid two guard or three that can score, impact the game physically and mentally and close out games, you're going to go places. That you think of guys like Michael Jordan, who they keep on comparing to Ant-Man, they need to chill on that. Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade, you know, even LeBron James, uh, you know, all those threes, th those hybrids, Kevin Durant, all that, that they will take you places. Kawhi, and I can keep going. Ant-Man, he fits in that category. So I wouldn't be surprised if he won the championship before Luka and Shea. But that's going to be further down the line. Today, I would be shocked if he won a ring this year. And again, I think today is number three in the pecking order. Three years from now, I think I still like Luka as the best player. But I think Ant will be better than SGA three years from now. And Ant-Man will be fighting for that top spot of the league, maybe. Maybe with Luka. Although Jokic will still be in his prime. Giannis and everything. And be those two guys will close the gap with the real top of the league. So, anyways, these are my thoughts. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. More importantly, get in that comment section and give me your give me your impressions. Who do you think is the best right now? And Luca, Shy, why? And let's talk about it. It's been your boy, and I'll see you guys later.